Okay guys, welcome back. So we're in our final piece uh, of overviewing the, the full range this year uh, from Mizuno. We're talking now about the CLK. Yes. So the last series ran for, as you said, three Yeah, years, two and a half two and a years. It launched with okay. the MP18 series. Right. So that was in fall of 2017. Okay. So now we're coming up spring of 2020 and we got a new one coming. A new one. And, and it was, you know, it was a, a, a really, really consistent performer. You said, you know, you guys had some, some really good sort of feedback and success with it. Yeah. So it was very successful in terms of sales, successful in terms of tour adoption, yeah. everything. The couple of th small things that we heard from the development side that we wanted to work on we wanted to get a little bit more consistency in terms of ball speed right. and consistency in terms of launch parameters in terms of you know if I strike it a little bit high on the mm. face I don't want that spin rate to drop or if you know I'm at a little bit of a suspect lie or something yeah. I don't want to hit a bullet mm -hmm. so we wanted to try to address a couple of those things with it you know always you're looking for a little bit more ball speed sure. if you can do something to the face or yeah. do something to the channel underneath mm. to increase that so those are some of the changes that mm -hmm. we made so the new one actually does have a new face material it's an MAS1C face, which I know is a long, <laughs> long technical line, but it's a miraging steel that allowed us to go a little bit thinner than mm -hmm. we were in the past. So you're going to see a little bit more efficiency in terms of ball speed. And that's going to be a nice jump over the last one. But also, we really focus on the wave technology. So this gets very aggressive into the toe and heel. Really to extend get, it out there. It's yeah. extends, it almost falls completely mm -hmm. out of the club. So you get very consistent ball speeds all across the face. And the profile itself, it's a little bit deeper from front to back. Again, just pulling the center gravity back making more stable so you can get more consistent parameters. Yeah, looking just through the, the, the bag of clubs that you brought today, it looks like it's somewhat progressive as, as well mm -hmm. and in shape and you know, I'm holding the 16 and here we've got the 25 and it, it does look like that, that sort of CG and pulling that further from the face gets a little progressive as the loft reduces slightly. Absolutely, you're exactly right. You know, when you're at a 16 degree, you know, typically that's a fairway wood loft. Yeah. So it's on the stronger side. So you want to make sure you have the center of gravity deep enough that mm. you can get ample launch out yeah. of that. Otherwise, you will get those very penetrating ones that aren't going to mm -hmm. hold a green or aren't going to be very controllable. So as loft increases, you're able to get the actual footprint of it to shrink just a yeah. little bit because loft will take over. So you'll get spin from there. Exactly. What do you think, Matty, looking sort of down on the, in the profile? and It looks great. I, I really liked the last one as well. Yeah, I did as well. Um, I, thought it was, I thought it was great. I think the shape is probably pretty similar, I would say. It's pretty similar. In terms yeah. of the actual profile itself, yeah. nothing too Not dramatic. Just a little bit of modification in terms of the actual size itself to dial gotcha. in a center of gravity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess maybe the finish being sort of that little bit of dark gray, I guess, yeah. is what you call it, the flat finish. I don't think you notice more head size. To me, it looks... I mean, it's pretty compact compared to most hybrids. I it is. Think. It's it's not in you know. For a while, there got to be where some of the fairway or excuse me, some of the hybrids were borderline fairway yeah, wood size. Big, yeah. This is definitely a tweener. Yeah, yeah. 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 Even looking at some of the new ones that have just came out, there's there's a bit of that again coming. Mm -hmm. You know, back into this sort of. It's not quite a fairy wood, but it's almost a fairy wood, mm -hmm. and yeah. you know, I know there's Callaway have that with their super it's hybrid. Big, that's super that, hybrid, yeah. that's mm -hmm. strong and loft, but really big in head size. Um, and, and that's just we were talking off camera there. It's one of the things I like about the 16 is for the player who struggles a little bit with fairy wood, sometimes maybe getting a little too shallow, the club bottoms out a little prior mm -hmm. to the golf ball, taking that two inches uh, off of the length, going from a 43 inch three wood into 41 inch hybrid. That, that actually buys the player a little bit of space and time to get that club on the ball and strike Absolutely. it more consistently. should be more consistency for sure. And that's where, as long as you can maintain some good efficiency in yeah. terms of ball speed, even though you're losing a little bit of length, you're going to strike it more consistent. Yeah. You're really not going to lose much in terms mm. of distance. Absolutely not. No, you probably pick up a little bit in terms of the confidence and, and the right. consistency of shot shape for and sure, things yeah. like that. Absolutely. Well, why don't we hit a few, uh, Matty? Let's, okay. let's kind of see what you're getting on the numbers. All right. A good looking flight. Plenty yeah. high enough. Nice, yeah. Landed soft. Nice little carry. Yeah. That's nice. Now Fraction low in the head? Yep, just a bit. Just a bit, nice and straight. One thing we always try to do on our hybrids is, you know, in the world of hybrids, there's a lot of them that, that tend to draw. Mm. And our hybrids are actually a little bit flatter than most in the yeah, industry. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks Remember flat. Remember we said that last time yeah. when we chatted about CLK? Yeah. Exactly. So the, the goal behind this is 
you know, the last thing you want, especially on a hybrid, if it's coming into a green or something like that, you don't want something coming in hot, mm -hmm. something coming in, turning over. Yeah. So you'll see, I mean, I see a lot of yours are falling. Yes. If anything, they're falling just to the left, which is great. So you basically, would you say you built it a little fade bias as stock and then you can adjust it upright? With That's the absolutely right. Our stock setting is the most flat. And okay. then from there, if you want to be able to go more upright, yeah. if you're someone who needs to turn it over, that, that's able to be done with the, with the quick switch. Gotcha. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I could probably let that uh, turn through a bit more. I think usually I'll draw my hybrid quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm used to seeing a little bit of shape, so. I think there's a lot of people out there really feel that way about hybrid, like they're always in danger of overcooking the draw yeah, right. and they're maybe that. a little scared to hit one at full speed in case they just you know just get too just much curvature it. on it and that's where it's really the design of hybrid for you know if you think back to when hybrids were getting started it yeah. was how do i take long irons out of the bag mm -hmm. and you know ultimately those are probably people who needed to turn it over yeah. and that's why hybrids tended to be a little bit more upright and a little more draw bias yeah. but as the hybrid market is matured and fairway woods have gotten lower spin and irons have gotten more forgiving on mm -hmm. the long iron side it's almost there's room for a type of club that doesn't necessarily have that turnover in it yeah so we, our philosophy and design of the mm -hmm. hybrid has changed over the years for sure hmm. that makes sense yeah it's funny i remember talking to some guys a while back probably about five six years back about hybrid and it's interesting to see our philosophies changed and uh, it was actually uh, some R&D guys from another OEM and mm -hmm. they're like, hey, we don't feel like we've figured out the hybrid yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they're like, five you know, it, yeah. it was about five years yeah. ago yeah. and uh, they, were, they were kind of pretty open and like they, they feel like there's a bit to go in terms of what, what weight of shaft should a hybrid have? Mm. It's a great should question. It, should it have more of an iron, you know, weighted shaft? Yep. But then sometimes people think it feels too heavy, but mm -hmm. You know, and, and that type of thing. So it's the balance of the whole club. It's definitely different and it's very player dependent. You know, mm -hmm. a better player's perception of a hybrid mm -hmm. is very different than a high handicap's yeah, perception of a hybrid. Yep. So there's a room for a lot of different, I mean, there's room for shaft weights in the low hundreds down yeah. to the high 60s. Mm, so it, exactly. it really depends on what you're trying to do. And that's where a fitting is so important in mm -hmm. terms of what do I want this hybrid to do? What am I replacing with it? Yeah, yeah. good but the flight looks really good i would have to say for mm -hmm. for my eye that looks like it's higher than i remember the previous edition being. it I, you're absolutely right yeah. on that we were designing this one to be a little bit easier to get up in the air and mm -hmm. one that's going to spin a touch more just because you know we talked about it when we were discussing fairway woods yeah. you don't necessarily want one that's out of control and distance isn't the number one key on this right. if we can give you good ball speed to get mm -hmm. distance we don't need low spin rate to get you distance really interesting i mean that's that's not necessarily spinning certainly overly high you're peaking that at 140 feet coming cool. in at 48 degrees. So you can basically <laughs> land that like a six iron kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I mean, that's, that's about bang on your six iron land angle. Uh, so in terms of the, the rollout and the control, when you, when you see it on the other side, I mean, mm. high ball speed, high launch, mm -hmm. at that point, really spin is it's not, other than controlling the distance, it's yeah. not really the factor when it hits the green because it's coming in so it has, steep. It has right. trajectory, right. It's, it's really, really nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, and you've got that turned up. Uh, well, you got that. So playing. I just went up one degree. So this is playing 20. Yeah. Okay. Um, Cause you play yours a little higher. What do you play? Yours? Maybe mine is a 20. I think yours is a, yours is 21, four hybrid. Be. I can't remember, forget. I haven't played, obviously I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. What was that rental set in high? What was that rental set, yeah. <laughs> no, but for me, I think if someone's hitting it too high, you obviously could just go down and loft. Yeah. But that would be the flight. I would be looking for that type of flight with this club because it's not really a tee club usually, mm -hmm. or if it is, that, that flight's fine off the tee. You can just hit it into a fairway. You can really see as well, just on, on that dispersion, we're not seeing, not really seeing anything curving too much. And right. that's where I think sometimes if lie angle gets up a little bit too much, we can start to see that curvature right. uh, quite significantly. And that'll help, that would cancel out everything you're getting from that nice yeah. high landing uh, if, right. if it starts to turn over. That's a good one. That is really nice. It looked, I mean, it looked like a, a long iron flight, really, like a right. nice high spin. 
It's definitely got some some speed to it. That has got some speed. One sixty yeah, on, on that one there. That's usually about as much as we ever. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's being a little bit up and a little bit inside, and we know kind of, Matty, that's your probably your 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 miss swing when you yeah, get fraction not, up and it, it shallows a little bit ideal. too much. So starting to use the lower half of the head more than we would maybe necessarily use it. But for sure, look at all that ball speed retention you're getting off off of that one. Yeah, a little bit lower. I probably would say at least a groove on that last mm -hmm. one. Yeah. yeah. Because the last one we're chatting about, you know, the, the launch was up at 15, the spin was down at 35, oh, okay. 3600. So you see those numbers flip around a little bit. So there's your indicator that you've struck it lower in the head. You're getting mm -hmm. a little bit of tilt, a little bit of oh, gearing. Okay. But you've actually jumped a little bit in speed. Right. So the speed makes up for maybe picking up some spin yeah. in terms of distance. You're right? getting more contribution out that lower half of the head, which is which I mean, is it exactly felt very, it felt want. very hot there. So that, that's probably, probably why. Love it. Nice. Okay. Well, again, you know, this is initial test and we're, mm -hmm. we've got more to come in, uh, in terms of seeing how these, these match in. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what the, the CLK partners up really well with, whether it's the tour, the tour wood that has right. a little bit of a lower yeah, spin yeah. profile or we're chatting a little bit off camera about that. And the three and the five wood and the bonded version yep. seem to have that higher spin profile, mm -hmm. but a bit more forgiven, that's that type of thing. Nice. Looking forward to doing that at the PGA show once yeah, we, good to uh, hit we some get outside, down there. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Good to hit some outside. Yeah, no, looking good. forward to it. Excellent. Okay, guys, stay tuned for a lot more on this. Uh, I think I would actually like to go back and even just do a little kind of head-to-head -head test and even on, on the older stuff as well and you can idea, show yeah. those those flights and how different you know they are in profile because that to me does look that does look quite different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't ever remember as being able to kind of flight uh, CLK that high. Yeah, true. Excellent. Okay, stay tuned for more of that, guys, and we'll see you again soon.